obviously I always play, it, it is a paradigm. It's not just a niche, you know, it's a paradigm, it's a new way of understanding the world that is evolving as well, you know. And um, it, it's tourism with a systemic approach, right, that seeks to facilitate this deep and transformative encounter of these three relationships, right, that man with oneself, the other and nature. I'm involved in different initiatives, but uh, one of the biggest ones, or the elder ones, um, is an operator, an inbound tour operator in Mexico. Um, the name is Totona, which means our energy, our sun in um, Nahuatl indigenous cultures. And um, we have really strong values in terms of, you know, working to contribute to the prosperity of rural and indigenous communities through responsible tourism. And, um, you know, we, we identified some of the problems that they have in Mexico, and many of them want to access to tourism, uh, but they don't have any visibility. So the government really doesn't give them any visibility. So they're, they're really struggling to, to make ends meet. So um, we, we started working with them and integrating them into our value chain. And, and you know, we, were, uh, we still are like really committed to sustainability and we really believed that sustainability was the answer. So we went to certify, you know, so we got two certifications, so Rainforest Alliance and Travel Life. And uh, even though they're very useful, we, we noticed a few of the things, you know, some they lacked some things and we weren't really happy with the results. So yes, we systematized our processes, you know, and, and we could identify, you know, several actions that we could do or maybe that we could improve. But there were things that we weren't happy about because it, they weren't done and they are not done according to place. We're trying to really um, emphasize these three relationships, right? So man with oneself, you know, with oneself, with the other and with earth as well, so that the visitor has, you know, can really um, live these three relationships and um, understand themselves as part of nature, as opposed to just have a connection with nature as well. An example of an experience, I mean, we have, um, subterranean rivers, you know, these are subterranean rivers. And, and some, for example, one of the experiences to, you know, for the visitors go there and get to meet their hosts. And, and sometimes they even, they don't even speak the same language, you know, but they mimic, you know, with gestures, etc. And then they, together, they go to this amazing place and, and they do a ceremony, you know, and they ask for permission to enter. You know, so from that time, from that moment, they realize that it is sacred. So it's not just like going into a cenote and people think that they, they are swimming pools. It's actually very sacred to Mayans. So, and they go in already in this mindset, you know, and then inside, well, they, you know, obviously they start explaining what they see and we do this path and then they get to a point and they do some, you know, meditation, you know. So at that moment, they can be with themselves and spend time with themselves, et cetera. So, you know, they, they do this. And well, at the end of it, um, there's a lunch, you know, with, with the people from the community. And it's very simple, but very significant, you know, because they explain about their ways of life, you know, and they exchange a lot. There's a real exchange. Uh, of the different cultures and, you know, so, so you have there the three concepts, you know, the three relationships are really happening. Um, but it's also very important that the, uh, the person guiding them, the facilitator is able to, to let them know, not literally, but, you know, so they realize they're having this moment, right? So those moments of truth. That's why I, you know, decided with these other friends to create this direction lab for travel, because I think it's a long path the generation. If you don't really understand it, understand it, I think it's it's good to try and help other people as well, you know, to find their own path. We can't deny it's urgent to to start this path right now, you know, because the world won't 
won't bear any more damage, or we won't as humans. I think it's great that people are starting to, to, um, to say, okay, so how do we start? You know, how does this translate to? I think that this is good. But I think the challenge is going to be don't go back to uh, a new version of sustainability, right? So it's not about it's not all about guidelines and you know. So how to maintain this spiritual part? I think that's going to be a challenge because they always think that when you talk about the word spiritual or worldview or whatever, you're just a hippie. You know? So how to um, how to give this message? you know, so that people take their time to really transform, you know, and do things differently this time.